ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, official Case A of 2020. <laughs> Jeez. I am, uh, I'm really going out of order here. My last Hot Wheels Monster Trucks mainline video was what? Case E 2023. Now we're going back three years to Case A of 2020. Like this is nutty. And you're gonna notice like some of these trucks were like one-offs. You've probably never even seen these trucks before. Most of them, you've probably never even seen half of these trucks before because in the modern day, a lot of these trucks aren't used anymore. I can tell you only one of the trucks on screen right now, you've probably seen within the last like year or two. So it's gonna be a fun video today. Go back and kind of look at, look at Hot Wheels monster trucks from what it used to be back when they weren't constantly rolling out brand new castings and we're just reusing the same ones over and over and over again with more and more creative ideas. Speaking of which, that'll be the first truck we look at in today's video, which is the one directly in front of you, known as number two of five of the Fast Foodie series, Milk Monster. A really cool truck in my opinion. I like Milk Monster, I think it's a cool truck, but uh, that'll be the truck that we start with today. Um. Yeah, so basically how I'm going to do Hot Wheels Monster Trucks now is uh, I'm going to do them the same way I do Spin Master. I'm not going to go through, I could show you guys the back of the package and talk about all the different details back here, like the, the name, the truck type, the motivation, and the crash attack and all that. But I'm not even going to do that anymore because that crap is just so boring. Like it's fun and all. And when I go to do my website or when I go to like, I, there's a thing I'm going to put on my website is a little, little teaser for you. When I go to do my uh, collection website there for you guys to use, there's a thing I'm going to add in the future called the Truckopedia, and it'll allow you to search by truck rather than by series, which I think is going to be awesome, and I cannot wait to uh, get that out there for you guys. Um, and the Truckopedia for our Hot Wheels Monster Trucks will have the crash attack, the motivation, all of that will be on the page for the truck kind of thing. So it's going to, if you've ever like gone onto the monster truck wiki and like Googled like grave digger and then gone to the wiki page and seen all the pictures and the, the all the history and whatnot, I'm going to do that, but with the die cast rather than the real trucks. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do that. Cause I don't think there's any uh, die cast collection websites that really do that. Uh, for hot wheels there is, but for like monster trucks, there really isn't. It's not a very well, 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 it's not a very it's, it's not a thing that exists, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So I will probably be the first person to pull that off and pull it off well, I guess, well enough that it'll be it'll be there. I don't know, like accessibility-wise. I don't know. Speaking of the website, it just got updated. If you guys want to go take a look at that, I, I added two new pages and then I updated all the pictures for all the new stuff that I got. So that'll be, that's cool. You want to stop by, pay a visit to that. Pretty cool stuff going on on that website there. But anyway... We're going to take a look at the first truck here, which is Milk Monster on the Dairy Delivery Casting. Like I said, back back in 2020, they weren't really caring about rolling out new castings all the all the time kind of thing. It was more about taking the castings that they had and just coming up with new ideas for paint schemes. And then eventually that changed and they started just rolling out the new castings every now and again. But uh, the first two trucks that we're going to look at in today's video are perfect examples of trucks that literally are just namesakes they're not like special castings or anything and the first one here which i've said the name of like 50 million times but i keep you know teasing you here is milk monster and we're going to go ahead and open this thing up right now so here we go everybody blast from the past 2020 all right the pandemic was wrecking the world when these trucks came out can you believe that this was before the whole supply chain thing, though, so I was able to get these. So here's the Milk Monster nameplate here. Back when they did the giant wheels thing, they don't do that anymore either. Milk Monster, you got the cookie there with the little bewildered eyes. I like that a lot. Uh, the accessory for this set is the foldable, I like to call them the Origami Crush Cars. And as you can see here, we did get a little van. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this little van together real quick, if you don't mind. I don't really show off the accessories much other than this because I don't care. So I, I figure, you know, that's a good reason, I guess. Now, the one thing I don't like about these origami crush cars is that they're a lot, they're cool, don't get me wrong. I just don't think that they're exactly the most accessible and easy things to use in the world. So I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of them. We'll put that off to the side. All right, here we go. Here is the truck, which is Milk Monster. 
Take a look at that. This is cool. I really, really like this truck, not gonna lie. I kinda, I think it's pretty neat. We got a white body, a blue roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with white rims. The side panel has the Milk Monster logo in purple and white right there. You can see all the cookie crumbs in the mouth of the, the Milk Monster as he's sitting there lurching towards this absolutely paranoid cookie right here, just losing his mind because he has been grabbed by the Milk Monster and is going to be eaten. Monster trucks right there. You got the Hot Wheels logo in white. And then there's another cookie over here scared for his life because of the monster on the side. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. Uh, on the front, we don't have anything. On the hood, we've got the milk hands right here, which is pretty cool. And then this is pretty cool. On the top, we have the milk monster here with the logo and everything. But this time he's holding a spoon and he's eating these little uh, Fruit Loop cereals. As you can see here, they're all looking terrified because they don't want to be eaten. Got the Monster Trucks over there with the bowl and everything. I really do love, and uh, on the back we got Milk Monster with the milk cans. I really do love the, just the unique, uniquity, I think, uniquity? Is that a word? I don't, unicity? No, that's something else. I really don't know what word I'm looking for here. I just love how unique this truck is. It is just such a goofy idea but it's executed so, so well. Like you would have never, I don't think in a million years anybody would have thought, what if we do a monster truck where it's like a milk monster? It's like, a, it's just a creature that's milk and it's eating cookies and cereal. And then somebody actually somehow came up with that, turned it into a monster truck and they did not skip out on the details. They made this thing look as amazing as possible and I'm here for it. So there you go, everybody. That's our first truck for today's video, the milk monster. I love it, love it, love it. I am a huge fan of that truck. I don't know about you guys, but I really, I, I really, it really seems to me, and I don't know if this is just me, all of the monster trucks that they don't produce very often, so it's like all the trucks that are kind of forgotten about by Hot Wheels, I love those more than the ones that they mass produce. Like Milk Monster, Necessary Roughness, Stars and Stripes, Psychodelic, V8 Bomber, those are all like some of my favorite Hot Wheels monster trucks, and you probably have never even heard of half of those because they don't make them anymore, but they are just, they're great. All right, truck number two for today's video, number one of five for tinted wheels. We have one bad ghoul. For some reason, this truck was really popular when it came out originally. I don't know why, though, because I feel like it's really not that crazy of a truck, but it's still pretty cool. Um, this one's part of the tinted wheel series. As you can see, we got some very colorful wheels on this one. I don't think I have any. Oh, well, that's a lie. I was going to say, I don't think I have any uh, Hot Wheels monster trucks with colored wheels, but then I literally looked over and I saw two Mega Rexes a Roger Dodger and a Carbonator, two Carbonators with colored wheels. So I immediately proved myself wrong there. Um, pardon me while I pop my knuckles. All right, here we go. This is the one bad ghoul. Let's get her open because I am curious to see what this thing looks like out of package. Also, I'm curious to see if the uh, tires glow under black light. I wouldn't think they would, but I think it's worth a shot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to test that real quick. Hold on. Clear. And they do not. Okay, so my suspicions were correct. All right. Uh, here we go. We've got the nameplate right here. One bad ghoul. It kind of looks like wallpaper in a haunted house, which I really like. Good stuff. For the crush car, we just got another green van, exactly the same as the previous one. So not a whole lot to talk about there, really, but still pretty cool. Pinch that right there. Looks pretty good. All right, so there's our little crush car. And then here is the truck, the one bad go. Oh, it's got clear rims too. I didn't notice that. That's cool. All right, here we go. The one bad ghoul. We have got a dark gray body, a black roll cage, chrome chassis, uh, translucent purple tires and translucent uh, dark gray rims. So tinted rims. I don't know if you guys saw that either, but the rims are in fact see-through. I did not expect that. <laughs> So here it is, the one bad ghoul on the side panel. You got the name right there with some skull details and some webs, bat wings and stuff. It's meant to look like a Hearst, as you can see. You can see the driver of the Hearst right here with his very ghoulish face and his hand that looks a lot like a foot for some reason, and I don't know why. Definitely got a lot of you know bone displacement there. You might want to see a doctor or a uh, osteologist about that one. But uh, over here, we've got his arm, you got the hat, the eyes, you can see the curtains on the window there. On the back, you got that Hearst emblem there with, with a skull and some spider webs, Hot Wheels logo, pretty cool stuff there. Flip over to this side, oh, that's sick. On this side, it has the, uh, I would imagine this ghoul over here has his wife on the other side doing the same pose. She's got a little tattoo on her arm there, as you can see, the lipstick, 
little armbands, all sorts of goodness here. But other than that, the truck is 100% mirrored on the site, except for that small detail there, which I absolutely love. That's crazy. Nothing on the hood, or nothing on the grill. On the hood, we've got two shovels, golden shovels with skulls on the tops of them. Monster trucks, got some little pinstriping details with a uh, purple iron gate right there. And then on the top, this is, I love the murals on the tops of the trucks. They look really cool. One bad ghoul. We've got the Hot Wheels logos in gold, all the different uh, Hearst emblems. You got the curtains on the top, the skulls, all of that with the gate fencing, a couple more. And then on the back, it says One Bad Ghoul with that same emblem. So there you go, everybody. That is our second truck for today's video, the One Bad Ghoul. Really cool. I like the tires on it, too. That's really neat. Um, I know that in 2020, they actually went back and redid One Bad Ghoul, but they actually changed the tires so that way they looked normal. But it was pretty much the exact same truck, just with different colored tires. So very interesting that they chose to do that, not going to lie. Um, yes, okay, I am right. So our next truck that we're going to look at here is Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker, as we all know, does exist on the Real Life Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Tour. Um, it is a very, I think it was actually the very first Hot Wheels Monster Truck Live truck that they made in real life. So that's pretty cool. We'll uh, zoom in here and take a look at it. So here it is, the Bone Shaker, as we all know and love it. As we also know and love, if you have been following my YouTube channel, Bone Shaker, the original version of it, does not have anything on the roof. The new versions, however, do have a little paint job on the roof. So that is worth knowing that if you are a variant collector, there are two different variants of Bone Shaker. Let's keep that in mind. This is the one that actually came with this set, just so that way you know. We have got a black body, a red roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with black rims and red bead locks. Really cool right there. Side panel, we got the Monstrux logo, Hot Wheels logo in white. Over here, you got the white chalk skull with the flames coming down the side. Pretty cool. This side has the Hot Wheels Monstrux logo and the Hot Wheels logo. And then over here, we got the Hot Wheels logo in the flames, which looks really cool. You got the pipes coming out right here, those little zoomies. On the front, you've got the famous skull grill with the headlights and the hands. Those little things peeking out the top there. And then you got the flames on the hood, nothing on the top, nothing on the back, nothing on the tailgate. So you, as you can see, you also got the battery and the fuel tank back here as well. Pretty cool little detail, but we've seen this. Pretty cool little detail there, but we've seen this bone shaker a million times. So I'll get it out of your face and we'll move on to a truck that we haven't seen before here on the channel. Well, it, technically, we haven't seen it before here on the channel. We have looked at this truck before, but we haven't seen this version of it. And this version is actually really important. This is number one of five of the Crash Legends. This is Twin Mill. Now, the reason why I say that this one's important is because this right here is the very first Twin Mill. Every Twin Mill that I've ever shown up on this channel, the glow in the dark one and the one in the doubles packs, are more newer. This one here is the very first Twin Mill monster truck in package, and I'm about to open it up. Here we go. Actually, the truck was already kind of open. That was weird. The packaging is a little, a little destroyed. That's all right. We'll get Twin Mill out of here. Here is that one, or the, 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 there's the card insert right there. I'm having a stroke. Jeez. And then for Crush Car, we got an orange coupe by the looks of things, which is a nice one here. Let me just, okay, I don't like it when things snap like that. All right, let me just, let me, let me just, let me, there we go. Put that in there and then what we'll do is we'll fold the front end in all right like that so there you go that is an orange coupe crush car right there the whole way that those crush cars work is that when you're supposed when you push your truck down on top of them the parts fly out so they'll like pop and then the uh, the parts will pop apart and then they'll flatten like they've been crushed and then you can fold them back up or whatever it's a cool idea it just doesn't work too well because you know the plastic is so hard to flatten but here is the twin mill We've got a blue body with a black roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with black rims and red bead locks, which look really good. The side panel has a uh, light blue stripe right here. 68 right there, Monstrux logo, Hot Wheels logo, and you got this really cool chrome exhaust coming off the motor. Same ordeal over here, just mirrored. If we go up to the top of the vehicle, however, you can see quite a bit of detail. We've got the 68 right here, the blue and silver stripe going down. Hot Wheels logo there, the two ginormous motors, Twin Mill, 68, and then you got some pinstriping detail on the back fenders as well. Sorry, I am not centered. Also, the window here, this black window, is not an actual window. That is painted on with a tampo. That is actually not, uh, 
that is not actually part of the casting. That is all paint. And every every twin mill we've ever seen does not have a window on it. It is painted. Which would make sense because, like, I, if this was a real monster truck, the driver would be sitting, like, right here. And, the you know, the cockpit's up here. So it wouldn't make any sense to do a window anyways. So, but anyway, yeah, that's twin mill right there. The uh, fourth truck for today's video. Now we're getting into some interesting stuff here. All of the trucks that we're about to look at have existed previously to this case of monster trucks. However, I don't have them in my collection yet, so I haven't opened them. So, uh, yeah, and we're going to start with a really cool one here. This is a truck that I am so excited to open because I have this truck, like, casting-wise in my collection, but I do not have the this version. This was the original version. Number one of ten for Hot Wheels Metro, we have loco punk and i love this paint job for loco punk because this is what loco punk is all about it's supposed to be a steampunk train a lot of the newer designs really don't uh a lot of the newer designs really don't capture that theme this does though this is the original design for loco punk and i am hyped let's get it out of the package let's get it out of that package that it is just imprisoned in here we go i am excited Here's the Loco Punk uh, nameplate there. Pretty cool. Free crush car. We got a red coupe this time. Uh, by the looks of things, it's this is going to be our last unique one. Which kind of sucks. Getting so much of the same thing. I might actually sell these crush car accessories on eBay. Could do that. That'd be fun. Would you guys buy crush car accessories if I sold them on eBay? I am going to get my eBay store up and running here soon. I am in desperate need of doing that because i've got a lot of stuff stockpiling out that i need to get rid of so uh yeah the ebay store is indeed coming soon and you guys will be able to purchase stuff off of there all righty so here we go this is the loco punk right here we've got a gold body with a gold roll cage silver chassis or chrome chassis rather black tires with gold rims and silver bead locks looks really sweet i love that the side panel says loco punk right here in this banner in effect you got all the gears behind it too really giving off that steampunk vibe hot wheels moss trucks you can see some pipes going up right here uh the side panel also includes all this black uh molded detail here with the cab of the train and all that which looks really cool Love it, love it, love it. This side is exactly the same, but mirrored, so I'm not going to spend any, too much time talking about it. The front end, you got the cow catcher right here with the lights and the front of the broiler. Uh, you got the stack right here. This is the horn, train horn. And then you got the cab, but nothing too much to see in the back there. So there you go, everybody. That is the original, the ever so fan favorite Loco Punk Monster Truck, the original version of it, too. Just an absolute masterpiece. I love it. That is such a cool looking truck. So cool. This next truck I'm actually kind of really excited to look at just because of what it is. It looks really strange and there's actually a pretty cool reason as to why it looks so strange. So next up for number five of five for Tinted Wheels, we have Invader. And I find it first off really weird that we have number one of five for Tinted Wheels, One Bad Ghoul, and number five of five for Tinted Wheels, Invader, in the same series. They went from one to five with nothing in between. That was really weird. Poor planning on Hot Wheels' part, I guess. Uh, oh, sorry, had to pop my back. All right. So a lot of people were really confused when this first came out as to what the paint job was on this one. Well, I've got a story to tell you. A lot of old uh ships a lot of old warships had this paint scheme on it and the reason why is because from a distance or on cameras rather this paint scheme would screw with the way that it looks it's like an optical illusion so basically from a distance this vehicle looks like this but then if you turn it and the vehicle goes like this from a distance, it's hard to give depth perception with a paint job like this. So that's actually what this whole paint job was for, is they'd paint it on boats and it would screw with enemies' depth perception and they couldn't tell, A, how big it was, or B, how far away it was. So it was really cool, kind of like the engineering that went into that idea was pretty neat. So they kind of put it on this invader here as the first paint job that this truck would run, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. And, of course, the tires, if you haven't picked up on it yet, are blue because it's meant to represent water. The very first Invader monster truck was meant to look like a battleship, which I think is really interesting. And now that I'm stopping to think about it, 
I wonder if Invader is meant to be a battleship, not a tank. If all these years, if I've had it wrong. Maybe. I don't know. But without further ado, let us open this lettuce. Let us open this thing up. <laughs> I like lettuce. You guys like lettuce? I like lettuce. All right. Here we go. Boink. Here is the Invader nameplate. Got that same paint job on it, but just with Invader written next to it. For the crush car, we've got a yellow van. We've got a yellow van here. Oh, I hate when it does that. Stop with the snapping. I don't like the snapping. The snapping make me uncomfortable. I don't like it. There we go. So there is the crush car. And then here's the truck. So we're going to take a look at this thing here with that depth perception paint job. Like I said, I, I here's the thing. I don't actually know if what I said is true or not. I just, I'm pretty sure. Based on what I know, I'm pretty sure that's what this paint scheme was used for. Anyway, here's the Invader. We've got a white body with a black roll cage, chrome chassis, blue tires, and green rims, which looks really nice. I like that color blue. I really do. Um, we got monster trucks written there, hot wheels written there, and then the whole paint scheme is covered in black stripes, and you've got these little patches of blue, orange, and green. As you can see there, look at all of that. Really cool. Uh, the sides are not mirrored. This side is different from the other side. The front, you got that same scheme going on up across the top there. And then on the back, you got it as well. So there really isn't a whole lot to talk about with this one. But you can see what I mean by that weird paint scheme. Like I said, they used to paint ships like this because it would screw with your depth perception and you wouldn't know. Like, from a distance, you wouldn't be able to tell how big the ship is because of the weird uh, paint scheme. It kind of messes with your ability to tell, like, what's going on here. I don't know if the color splotches necessarily sell the, uh, sell the illusion very well because, you know, the color splotches kind of throw it off. Maybe if this was in black and white, it would really mess you up. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, there you go. That is Invader, the uh, sixth truck for today's video. Yep. And uh, we're going to go on to number seven here, which is a really interesting one. Um, you want to talk about a strange brand deal? Check this next one out. Number one of five for fast foodie. We have Sriracha. Sri Sriracha. Sriracha. Sure. We'll just go with Sriracha. But yeah, we have the Sriracha truck here. What a strange brand deal. Am I right? Like this, again, this is another truck that I feel like people kind of forgot about. Just such a strange, like, collaboration. You know, you got, like, Spongebob. You got, like, Masters of the Universe, Trolls, Shrek. All these different, like, Hot Wheels uh, collaborations. Not really monster truck collaborations, most of those. But, you know. But then you got this. Sriracha Hot Sauce. Such an interesting brand deal, am I right? Like, I don't know. That one's weird to me. But, but, but big butt actually huge butt even <laughs> we've got the the monster truck here and we're going to take a look at this thing i'm really excited to look at this actually so here it is the sriracha monster truck and it looks like a bottle of sriracha you got a red body a uh black roll cage chrome chassis black tires with red rims and green bead locks uh the whole roof is green too also got a green window insert which looks cool as you can see right there you got the the like the company logo there with the rooster rooster sauce as we all know it sriracha natural color that is one of my favorite things whenever i see a bottle of sriracha that is my favorite thing ever is that they have to point out that that is indeed the natural color of the sauce it's so funny shake well written right there hot wheels logo sriracha hot chili sauce monster trucks and then over here we've got the same thing but mirrored what is that little i don't know what that is right there i have no clue what that is because i can't tell it's too small here's the front end on the hood, you've got that same logo, but this time with some green stuff written there. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I'm probably just going to end up offending somebody. On the back, you got the same thing written again with all the symbols, uh, Chinese symbols. Azura, Canyon Road, Irwindale, Irwindale, California. Heck yeah. <laughs> American capitalism at its finest. There we go. But yeah, there you go. That is the Sriracha Monster Truck. Absolutely hilarious like i said weird that this truck even happened i had no idea i have no idea why this happened or how it happened but it happened and it's definitely a piece of history now so i guess we just gotta live with that um so yeah there we go there's that truck and we got one left and then we are done with today's video the final truck for today's video is spongebob 
we are bringing back, prob this is probably right here, the truck that has shown up in more of my YouTube videos when it comes to Hot Wheels Monster Trucks than any other truck on this channel. This sole SpongeBob has bas basically been in almost every single unboxing that I've done. I don't know why SpongeBob is such a truck that they need to re-release 30 million times, but he's back once again, so let's review him. Here we go. Yellow body, black roll cage, chrome chassis, black tires with chrome rims. We have got the door on the side here with the uh, SpongeBob, like SpongeBob's house. You got the window here, uh, blue window insert as well. Brown trim at the bottom. The side is exactly the same, but mirrored. You got all the little porous holes here, kind of like his uh, spongy texture on the top of the truck as well. You got his teeth making up the grill, his nose making up the hood. And then of course you got his dimples, which are the little reflectors on the front or headlights, windshield. Uh, the top of the truck is another porthole. Uh, the spoiler is made out of bamboo, meant to look like his wallpaper in his house, or rather Squidward's house had the bamboo wallpaper. The back, copyright 2018, Viacom International, Inc., and then you got the front door to his house right here. More holes, the trim there representing his pants, and yeah, there you go. That is SpongeBob, the final truck for today's video. Let's get to the turntable, and then we'll close this thing out. This end display looks like crap, but I tried. So there you go. That is the full set of trucks for today's video. Oh my good Lord. Holy crap. My camera setup is so bad. All right, there we go. So that's the full set of trucks for today's video. From uh, top left to bottom right, we got Milk Monster, One Bad Ghoul, Bone Shaker, Twin Mill, Loco Punk, Invader, Sriracha, and SpongeBob SquarePants. But yeah, that's the full set of trucks, believe it or not. That is... When you uh, order Case A 2020, this is what you get right here. You get this little set of trucks, and it's not a bad set of trucks by any means. I think it's a really good set of trucks, and uh, yeah. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next Diecast unboxing video. Thank you, and good night.